Hello. In this altar side chat, we'll focus on the Word of God, which is able to make us wise unto salvation. God tells us a little bit about His Word in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. All Scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be competent, equipped for every good work. The thought for today in this brief chat is that the entire Bible, from the very first word of Genesis all the way through the very last word of Revelation, is profitable, beneficial, inspired by God, and it tells us the tragedy of our human condition. It tells us how Adam and Eve first ran away from God when they knew that they had sinned, and how God, in his great and wonderful love for lost and fallen humanity, did not allow them to simply putter along, covering themselves with fig leaves and trying to make a life for themselves or a death for themselves apart from God. Instead, it tells us about a God who loves the entire world. Even if you're not a Christian, you've probably heard the words of John 3:16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loves each and every one of us enough to seek us out in Christ. He seeks us out through the spoken, written, sung gospel. He speaks us out through the gospel combined with physical elements of water in baptism and bread and wine in the Lord's Supper. God is a loving, seeking God. He's not content with the death of anyone. He doesn't want anyone to perish, not even the wicked. He wants all to repent and come to the knowledge of the truth. He began inspiring the authors of the Bible thousands of years ago, and he has inspired every single author using their own thoughts, their own words, their own language, whether Hebrew, Aramaic, or Greek, to write down exactly what God the Holy Spirit knew we needed for our salvation. All scripture is profitable. As you get more and more scripture into your heart, the Holy Spirit is more able to prompt you to love and good works. If the only Bible verse that you know was, Esau was a hairy man, but Jacob was smooth, the Holy Spirit doesn't really have a whole lot to work with there, although you can get into covenantal theology if you know the entire background. Or, one of our Colleagues in ministry used to call out the verse, a she-bear came out of the woods and slew 40 youth of Israel. Now, that might not be terribly comforting to your confirmation class if you're a youth seeking to follow the Lord. And if you are walking through the valley of the shadow of death, hearing that a she-bear came out of the woods and slew 40 of the youth of Israel isn't particularly comforting either. But in context, in the general context of God's love for us, it is important for us to know that every single word of the Bible is inspired, whether it's words of God's wrath and judgment against sin, or the great and precious promises of God that are all yes and amen in Jesus Christ for us. As we have opportunity, let's get into the Word as never before during this time when many of us do have more time on our hands. Is it possible in this day and age that studying the Word of God, using some online helps that are available, could be more profitable for your eternal well-being than watching endless reruns of cat videos, even if the cats are doing cute things. All scripture is inspired by God. All scripture is given so that you will have everything necessary for your eternal life and salvation in Christ.
that you'll have reassurance for difficult times, that your joy-filled times will be even better in Christ. God bless you and help you to be faithful unto death and receive his crown of life. And oh, I didn't just make that up. It's in your Bible. You can Google it. God's blessings. Amen.